if I take a look at the next section, which is the latest post and guides, I have to post at least three blog posts in my website. So let's add some three quick blog posts in my website. Let's jump into the dashboard right now from here. And let's open Pixels. I used Pixels a lot of my projects and in most of the cases, I used a few other free resources. I'll be creating another separate video that will be healthy for you on how to use Pixel, how to use other kind of stuff for your making your uh, freelance life more easier. Go to the posts and here you can see there is a post called Hello World. I'm going to hit this one. I'm not, I'm not going to delete this one. I want to keep them on my website. Let's change the category name also. This is uncategorized. Change the title first. Make sure you have changed your permalink to hello world to this my own title. I hope you already know what is permalink. Lipsum.com. Navigate to the Lorem Ipsum. I, I need Lorem Ipsum text, so I, I have to navigate to the Lipsum.com. Click on generate. Copy. Paste. Uh, okay. And add featured image here. And you're done. So you can change category, you can change other thing here. So I don't want to change them right now. Travel. Uh, it's working now let's take some image from here I'm not sure why it loads very slow uh, take a look latest post one latest post two is it so small yes the images is so small here so I'm not going to use them it's small here change the custom size here to make it looks good change it to okay i'd like to use uh, 1000 pixel at least and 530 is good uh, in height mm, 600 well click on download now i have downloaded this image from hip pixels close this one i just want three images here i have selected 1000 pixel and 630 here download so i have downloaded this one and now the next one is here let's download this one change it to 1000 and 600 i'm sorry and 630 free download now it's also downloaded here well so i do not want to use any image as of now go to the post and choose featured image upload three images here well uh, everyone is looks great so let's uh, type here do not make it blank you can select any of them from here update and click add new add new i would like to create two posts here and the second post uh, will be the name which is 10 tips for new travelers copy okay so i'm going very fast here and i don't have to change the uh, permalink because it's not an existing post previously i have used existing post make sure you have added something here at least at least add some text here it's a good practice i personally sometimes uh, forget to add this uh, text here as well okay so i have already opened another one here now copy this one from here paste it copy and paste 
it's very easy just copy paste right well select this one and image now successfully i have oh uh, there's a huge background noise well um go to all posts and it's uh displaying perfectly all are uncategorized you can ca add them categorized but no worry i'm not doing or going to change it or not going to add category at this moment now i have added them and reload the page now if you take a look at the design it calls latest posts and guides copy here and i have already similar header type here i, I would like to uh, copy uh, i would like to copy this one here mm -hmm. well uh, okay 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 you can stay here i will take you just wait a few minutes now it's time to take you at the bottom of this latest post guides add some padding at the top and bottom mm, uh, well 120 it's it's way bigger let's make it 90 oh my god 70 it looks good and change a post search search your post so here you can see post grid ea which is essential add-on from elementor the copy here it's not copy it's drag and drop it here it looks way beautiful well uh, normally elementor uh, doesn't have the post features and that's why i have installed and activate this add-on which is called essential add-on for elementor now i'm going to customize this one based on my requirements to see how much i can make it similar machinery grid uh, change it uh, show image yes show read more button yes okay so image size perfect image height perfect title good h2 and xrp 60 it's too much 20 uh 25 it it looks perfect i think yes well so there is a meta options show meta i'd like to close i don't want to show meta links okay it's not necessary now let's take a look here expansion indicator i don't know why there is space at the top here is it a bug from ultimate add-ons uh, not ultimate it is uh, essential add-ons well so i have to debug this one so i'll show you how you can debug this one also on your end and let's take a look here it looks like this we can make it similar no worry read more and the button should read more yes it looks good read query author category and offset so currently there is offset zero here and uh, the layout settings styles so there is styles 2 style 3 uh, i would like to use style 3 border radius 20 pixel and let's have a look uh, 20 pixel looks good here so there is another option which is thumbnail border radius i could add 20 pixel also at the top i should add 20 pixel here it looks good now and i should increase the featured image height so that it looks um, much better why don't i increase this one because if they have an options here well mm, thumbnail color and typography so i think uh, there is some margin here i'm not sure uh, from where it's coming from title margin change the typography from title here to make it 
true line is enough i think yes it's enough but uh, i don't know why there is a spacing here i have to debug this one and i have to see uh, from where it's coming from okay so it looks perfect uh, i think much better i can add a border this is a read more button so inside the read more button i would like to use a border bottom here i'd like to use four pixel mm, uh, four pixel i think three pixel let's change it three pixel here it doesn't looks good let's add some margin top 20 pixel and change the color theme color let's have a look whether uh, we have theme color or not we have this color and the text color should black and the border should have its own color this one right and i have to use an image read more button there is no options to add image it's very strange mm. well uh, okay okay there is also no option here to add an image i think there should have uh, but it's not available here now let's click on update and see uh, why there is space at the left side inside the title area if i inspect here and take a look why there is a space okay the space is coming from my post editor options i think let's go to my post editor uh, yes here is the space so when i copy and paste this one um, that comes with space here so i think you already understand how quickly i just uh, debug this one and find out the issue here now if i reload this page it looks perfect now so uh, i have to add some spacing at the bottom of this title reload the page and add some space here so you already know how to use custom code and custom css and i hope you already understand uh, i'll be fixing rest of them using custom css so now there is a post uh, title post color typography title margin let's add some margin bottom here yes it looks good now and make the title a little bit bigger 36 pixel is good enough i think it perfects uh it looks perfect uh not perfect <laughs> well um okay so uh inside read more button style add some margin bottom which is 20 pixel is good and this should two pixel not so big here and also there is uh, content inside the content area uh, let's take a look if there is any options to add background color or not if i go to color title excerpt and uh, there is no options to add a background color here inside the post post background color there is an option here let's change it and see well there is the option now click on here and change copy the color go to ed editor paste it here now here you can see the color now there is another uh, option which is coming a border but we do not want to use border here so let's take a look um, from where this border is coming from border type i already select none let's yes it's none but it's it doesn't work it's a bug from essential add-on but when i select solid and make it zero the border just disappear and looks perfect right now 
add some padding i think it will make it more nicer and clean let's add 20 pixel no not this one mm, inside okay between I, I would like to add 10 pixel or 20 15 pixel looks good go to content area layout settings okay there is no options here space between and width let's okay this one is border so if i want to change spacing margin and padding here card radius card hover so this one is for another options not the border and button <laughs> border should have zero but uh, there is no options here for the card so just click on update and reload the page but we could make it uh, using custom code and using custom code is not a good idea every single time but if there is no options then we have to use custom code let's click over here and see there is options padding 15 pixel we could add 20 pixel here but it doesn't uh, work let's change it and let's take a look if we have missed anything else here no there is no options it just reduce the spacing uh, between the items not the inside content area so let's make it uh, from here 30 pixel looks great and copy the text from here let's have a look it looks perfect now so go to the typography and paste the additional css here also if i go to the read more and let's have a look if it's possible or not to make the read more display in line block well so we can use display inline block here which will make our read more button uh, looks uh, much cleaner and good here uh, also you can change the read more button um, read more button typography to make it a little bit bigger 16 and font weight we could make it 700 to make it stand out and a little bit nicer Now, as you can see, everything seems looks perfect and looks great here. So I hope after watching this video, you will be able to follow this uh, page and tutorial. Then you'll be able to create a nice website looks like this. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. Thanks for watching.